Hello everyone, and welcome to my recounting of a shocking revelation concerning the third secret of Fatima. I am here to share a touching and emotional story about one of the most famous Marian apparitions in history. Back in 1917, three Portuguese shepherds, Lucia, Francisco, and Jacinta, claimed to have witnessed the Madonna in a place near Fatima. The Madonna appeared as the Lady of the Rosary and delivered three prophetic messages known as the Secrets of Fatima. The first secret depicted a vision of hell where the souls of sinners suffer, while the second secret concerned the end of the First World War and the beginning of the second, urging prayers for the conversion of Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. However, the third secret remained veiled in mystery until 2000, when the Vatican revealed it. The vision involved an angel with a flaming sword, threatening to destroy the world but being stopped by the light of Mary. The Vatican linked this vision to the assassination attempt on Pope John Paul II in 1981, claiming the Madonna's intervention saved his life. Yet, many, including scholars and believers, found this explanation unsatisfactory, deeming it incomplete or false. Now, let me introduce Sister Maria Teresa, a 90-year-old nun living in Italy, who claims to have received a letter from Lucia dos Santos, one of the shepherds of Fatima. Lucia entrusted her with the true third secret of Fatima, written on a sealed sheet in 1944. Sister Maria Teresa kept the letter secret for 15 years, choosing to reveal it now on the centenary of the deaths of the other two shepherds, Francisco and Jacinta. The true third secret, according to Sister Maria Teresa, foretells a great tribulation in the Church and the world. It predicts the death of a pope, leading to confusion among bishops, priests, and the faithful. A civil war within the Church and a terrible global conflict causing millions of deaths and widespread destruction are also prophesied. Natural disasters and moral decay will further plague humanity. Despite these dire predictions, Sister Maria Teresa assures that if people heed the Madonna's voice, pray the Rosary daily, do penance, and consecrate themselves to the Immaculate Heart, they can avoid or mitigate these punishments. The message emphasizes hope and the eventual triumph of the Immaculate Heart, ushering in an era of peace and justice on earth. As I recount these words, I acknowledge the varied reactions among believers finding hope and gratitude, while others express doubts and criticism. The Vatican claims no knowledge of the letter or the sealed sheet, urging adherence to the official teachings of the Church on Marian apparitions and the secrets of Fatima.